Hello and welcome to Songs for the Struggling Artist, the blog cast. This is episode 331. My name is Emily Rainbow Davis. Thank you for listening to the blog cast. Today's blog is inspired by a ride on the subway. <laughs> I'm sure there have been others inspired by rides on the subway, but I don't remember them exactly right at this second. But, uh, you know, when you ride the subway, you, you have adventures, some more adventurous than others, some that you don't want to be adventurous. Sometimes you just want a nice, peaceful journey home or away from home. Anyway, this one is kind of not about any of that, so, so it, it's a little bit of a mystery. So that's what it's called. It is called The Free Ride Mystery. When I ran my Metro card through the turnstile, it came up insufficient funds, and I frowned and looked around for the machines to fill it up. I was not in my usual station, so it wasn't immediately obvious. As I walked away, I heard this police officer call me back. There'd been three of them lounging by the turnstiles, and one of them had come forward and was offering to swipe me in. I was baffled, but not about to argue. He told me to have a nice day, and off I went, very confused. As I rode home, I tried to work out why this might have happened. It did not feel like he was hitting on me in any way, so it wasn't a pickup move. Was it an attempt to rehabilitate the reputation of the NYPD with lefty radicals like myself? I didn't think so. I don't think the NYPD is at all worried about what we think of them. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't know or care that I'm very interested in defunding the police. Was it maybe help a quirky artist day and no one told me? I don't think so. Though I do wish such a day existed. Perhaps he'd mistaken me for a healthcare worker. I was wearing a mask. And the dress I was wearing has been mistaken for scrubs before by a doctor who should know better. This felt like the likeliest possibility. The officer's gesture had the quality of one public servant helping another. And despite the fact that I have never seen scrubs with a skirt, there's something about this green wraparound dress that reads as hospital garb to some people. I was satisfied with this theory, though I cannot prove it in any way. I imagine that the cop felt good about himself helping out a healthcare worker, and I wondered how he'd feel if he knew my actual vocation. Would he take his free ride back? What would it be like to live in a world where folks might be as happy to see an artist out in the wild as this guy was to help who he might have imagined me to be? I'm certainly glad that someone out there is doing all they can for the healthcare workers they run across, but mightn't it be better to just pay our nurses better? To give them the time off they need? To have, say, a national healthcare system we can rely on and help workers care for everyone equally? Wouldn't that be better than randomly giving free rides to people you perceive to be healthcare workers out in the world? I'd wager that most struggling artists could use a free subway ride even more than a nurse could, given that a nurse has a salary and possibly a travel allowance, while most struggling artists are managing month to month on spotty freelance gigs. But I feel pretty confident that no one would institute such a program. Help a quirky artist day will likely never come to pass. I don't mean to look a gift ride in the mouth, but... I can't help unpacking unusual circumstances, and this was very unusual for me. Maybe for public servants, like healthcare workers, it is commonplace. Is it? I'm curious. So this one got a fair amount of uh, views, which is odd. And weirdly on LinkedIn, like, I don't know, maybe just people see the image of subway turnstiles and are like, I ride the subway, I will read this. I don't know. I was surprised because this is not my most substantive piece of work. Uh, but hey, that's cool. Also, Strangely, I got a, a comment on this piece from a guy I went out with years ago 
who uh, who was like, if it were me, I'd have thought you were beautiful. That's probably why I did it. And I was like, well, that that's very nice. But also, I, I don't think that was it. <laughs> Cause you know, you know, you know, you, don't you? I don't know. You often do. I don't think that was it. In any case, that was it. Was nice to get a compliment on LinkedIn, which is, you know, funny. Fun, it's a funny place for it. Anyway, now what am I going to sing for you? Well, of course, it's free ride. It's going to be free ride because it is exactly the right song. I'll, I, I I had no idea who this song was by. I just was like, I know there's a song about a free ride. What is it? And then I found it and it's the Edgar Winter group. I would have guessed all day and never come up with the Edgar Winter group. I I, I feel like I've heard this song a million times and yet had never heard the artist's name and Edgar Winter group. Please forgive me. I'm very sorry. But now I definitely know who sings Free Ride, and it is the Edgar Winter group. And this song is very odd. Like, it feels like it's maybe a religious song. There's there's talk about going to the promised land. I don't know. I, 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 there's no indication of it anywhere. I looked, uh, you know, I looked the song up on Wikipedia to see, like, who was claiming it and what it was, you know, reportedly about or whatever. No, nothing. I was like, oh, maybe it's like a Christian group. No. I am, I'm not, I'm, anyway, you listen to the song and you tell me what you think. Um, Anyway, it was fun. It was fun to learn. And uh, I'll play that for you in a moment. Meanwhile, thank you very much for listening. If you like this podcast, that's awesome. Please tell someone about it. Um, like, review, subscribe. It is not easy to review in places I have learned. In fact, I already knew, but then someone was trying to review um, an episode of uh, The Dragoning, and uh, you can't do it on your computer, it looks like. You can't, you can't do like a review of a single episode, which you know she was trying to do for the chip. If you haven't listened to The Chip, that's a standalone uh, little speculative feminist fiction situation over there. Uh, But you can't, if you're on your computer, you can't apparently review a single episode. So they don't make these things easy is what I'm saying. And I, so if you haven't done it, I don't blame you. Uh, But I have been thinking about like creating like a page for how to do it in different podcast apps and stuff. So that's on my list of things to do. And uh, if you've thought, oh, I would like to review uh, this podcast, but I don't know how to do it. I'm going to try and help you out. I can't promise that I will know how to do it, but I'm, I'm going to learn if I don't know. Um, and if you're on a, like a, an odd, <laughs> odd, I, I don't know what qualifies as odd, but if you're on a sort of uncommon podcast app, let me know and I'll see if I can figure that one out too. Uh, so in any case, thank you for any of that. Um, and also if you'd like to support the podcast with money, that's amazing and very helpful. I receive no support elsewhere aside from Patreon and Patreon is the place. If you really want to help out in a big way, that is patreon.com slash Emily R Davis. doesn't necessarily mean it's a big way. It just means it's a consistent and, and ongoing way, um, which is very nice and actually really does help. Uh, there's also though Kofi and PayPal, all those links are in the show notes. And also just, you know, having your ears on this is very helpful. I got the um, Spotify wrapped thing for podcasters where they tell you about the people who listened to the podcast. And you guys are awesome. I mean, I knew that, but uh, it's pretty cool. And weirdly, this podcast is in the top 15% of shared podcasts, mostly via Instagram. Are you, are you lovely people sharing this on Instagram and I don't know it? And I, how, do I, how do I find these things out? It's, I, that was shocking to me. Um, so thank you, Instagram listeners. I don't ever go on Instagram except for to like when I barely, barely remember to go and share <laughs> via Spotify. It's the only way to share something on Instagram for a podcast, unfortunately. Um, anyway, I try and remember to do that, but I'm very behind. 
so anyway, thank you, uh, all of you, for listening from around the world. That's so very cool. Um, yeah, so here's the song. It is me on guitar singing this very odd song, um, you know, but good, but so right for this particular piece. It's just, you know, come on and take a free ride, which is not, the cop didn't actually say anything. He did not use any words. So he did not say, come on and take a free ride. But the brandishing of the, you know, the, well, I guess, what is it? Like a free pass entry point? Do they, it's like a metro card that you just swipe people in with, I guess. Anyway. Showing me that and then swiping me through is how he said, come on and take a free ride. So, has this happened to anybody else? Is it just me? It was very odd. And it, nice. It's nice. I don't mean to be, you know, anyway, whatever. Here it is. <laughs> free ride. Thank you. 